Greetings UK investigators, are you buzzing from playing at an in-store Arkham Knights event, or are you gutted that you didn't get to make it along? Well, you have one more chance at Epic Multiplayer before the end of the year, and that will be in London, England on Saturday the 4th of December 2021 at the Dragon Meat Convention. Dragon Meat is a one day tabletop gaming convention held at the Novotel Hotel in Hammersmith with gaming from 9am to midnight and the trade hall open from 10 to 6pm. It's been going for literally decades, and so have we! It has the usual traders, demos, guests and gaming, which you can find out about on their website, along with maps and floor plans which you can click on to make bigger. They also have a Facebook page and something called a Discord server which we are clearly too old to know anything about. You can check out our previous videos all about the convention, including a full walking guide from the nearest tube and bus stations, as well as Lita's recommendations for the latest Korean barbecue. But let's cut to the chase and tell you all about the tentacly goodness. On the main page click on gaming on the menu bar at the top. Scroll down and you will see the Arkham Horror card game events have pride of place. There are two games. In the morning from 10am to 1pm will be the blob that ate everything. And in the afternoon from 2.30pm to 5.30pm is War of the Outer Gods. So if you wanted to play both there is plenty of time for a lunch break and to wander around the trade hall. Both of the games can cater up to 40 players each, making this a really memorable experience. And if you have never played Epic Multiplayer or even regular multiplayer, consider coming along and giving it a try. Arkham is a very different beast when not played solo. Go on! You will need a ticket to the convention first of all, so click on the first green hyperlink which takes you to the Ticket Tailor website. On the right hand side, click on the Buy Tickets for Dragon Meat button. You will need one general admission ticket per person and you can book multiple at once. Children from 11 to 16 are discounted if accompanied by an adult and children aged 10 and under are allowed into the convention for free if accompanied by an adult. If you have a group of 5 you can get a special discounted rate. And if you have a group of 10 adults, I don't know, maybe Granny and her bridge club fancy a change from bingo, then you could buy a block of 10 tickets, which must all be collected together. Once you have your entry to the convention sorted out, scroll down to the morning games and you will see Arkham Horror the blob that ate everything. And hey look, it's free! How is that for value for money? You can purchase multiple tickets here too. Just a little further down in the afternoon game section are the tickets for War of the Outer Gods. So use the drop down if you want to book. Right down at the bottom click next and it will present you with a summary of your choices as well as a transaction fee. Here you need to fill in your personal info. Then it is on to the payment and they take PayPal and major credit or debit cards. If you have any questions beyond this point you'd best contact Dragon Meat. Do note that as per the website, online sales will cease on Thursday the 2nd of December at 1300 hours and then tickets will be available on the day from the front desk. You have been warned. Once you've got your tickets all sorted, there is one more vital step. Navigate back to the gaming page and at the bottom click on the second link, the one with the larger text. And that takes you through the looking glass to this magic Google form here. This is what makes this event really special, as just like a dating agency, a team of professionals will expertly match your deck up with three other compatible decks to play with on the day. So pop your nom de plume and correct email in here. If you click yes to contact, once you have been allocated a table, your email is shared with your fellow group mates, so you can better coordinate what investigators you want to play, what difficulty you like, who needs to bring what tokens and so on. If you click no, then it will be a total mystery on the day who you are playing with and you won't have a chance to tell them you put on funny voices for all your allies. Consider creating a disposable email address if you want to keep things separate. Page 2 is for the blob that ate everything, so skip this if you are just playing in the afternoon. It will ask you if you have played the scenario before. This helps avoid four noobs being put together and feeling a bit lost. Next it wants to know who you would like to play with, so if you are travelling to the event with your friends and want to be on the same table, this is the way to do it. Here is the space for what role you would be prepared to play in your group. 
Just like a D&D party, having a well-balanced group means you will be more productive and hopefully more successful in the scenario. The official Drawn to the Flame definitions are... Fighter! You want to deal with enemies and deal out damage. Cluer! You want to focus on getting clues and making progress for the team. Spellcaster! You are probably a mystic and you'll use your willpower to turn your hand to damage your clues. Evader! You will be able to keep enemies locked down, maybe damage them without combat, but certainly you'll grin when there are enemies to be handled. What? Who writes this nonsense? Flex, stroke toolbox, stroke other. You might want to be able to do a little bit of everything, or have a suite of tricks and tools that mean you can turn your hand to specific challenges, or you're looking to play an explicitly supportive character, increasing everyone's chances at passing tests or keeping the whole party alive and furnished with cards and resources. Then it asks if you have a copy of the scenario or a chaos bag you can bring for your table. One you don't mind everyone else touching, obviously. And finally, there is a space to add any information, like if this is your first event, or if you want to play on hard mode, or are playing in another game that may overrun, or whatever you like. Remember, at the top of the first page, there is an email address where you can ask questions before, during, or after filling out your form. There is also a contact form for Dragon Meat under the contact tab of the main menu if you have any questions about accessibility of the venue or anything else you would like to know to feel more comfortable attending. The next page is for War of the Outer Gods and asks you the same questions. Please make sure you fill out both pages if you are attending both games, or the correct page if only attending one game. The fourth and final page is for you to submit your form, and note, you can clear your form and start again at any time. If you forget something or realise you've made a mistake, again, just send an email to get it sorted out. On the far right of the Dragon Meat menu is the page detailing the health requirements to be allowed entry into the convention. We aren't going to list them in this video because they may change as the government guidelines do. Please keep checking this page regularly and don't forget to bring any documents you need, or your deck. Don't build one on the train on the way up there like you did last time. So what else is going on at Dragon Meat for you to check out, or for your poor friend or spouse who you conned into giving a lift to the event in the hopes they might get Ian Livingstone's autograph? Well, there are three rooms running talks and seminars all day. A podcast zone where you can meet up with the UK's top RPG podcasters, and there are links to all their shows at the bottom of the page so you have ample time to become a fan of someone new. Plus, all the traders making this a perfect time to do all the Christmas shopping for your gamer friends in one place. Our friends Free League will also be there, so check out our Twilight 2000 and Illustrated Lovecraft videos. Do keep checking back on the website or the Discord in case any more events are revealed. So, have you booked your tickets yet? You are waiting for details of all the swag? As if free entry wasn't enough, those fabulous folks at Aconite Publishing have donated 10 books from their Arkham Horror range. And to match this, the premier masters of acrylic accoutrements, by the same token, have donated 10 sets of these exclusive Doom tokens. They are clear with green detailing, and these are a limited edition not available for purchase, and only seen once before during Arkham Knights UK. They do have the same design on both sides, and no multiplier, but thematically they are extremely blob. Stay tuned to our Twitter or the Drawn to the Flame social media for any last minute updates.